Let us now move on to structure of enamel and it is composed of enamel rods or prism. See rod is the more preferred name because it appears mostly like rods. Sometimes we call it prism because it appears triangular in appearance. Then the rod sheath. A sheath that covers the rod. This is the rod sheath and the interrod enamel which is present in between the two rods. That is the interrod enamel which is the cementing material. Now we will see the formation of one rod. How is a single rod of enamel formed? These are the amylogenin fibrils which was the organic component that we saw. These are arranged and uh, we see the hydroxyapatite crystals binding these amylogenin fibrils like this. These are arranged. Just assume, see this will be going, this is going to be the long axis this is the long axis of a rod and the hydroxyapatite crystals are arranged almost parallel almost parallel to the long axis of the rod here we have gotten one enamel rod and when we further stack it we get the structure of enamel these are the amylogenins these are stacked and binded by the hydroxyapatite crystals around this we see a rod sheath the dimension of this rod is 9 micrometer in length and 5 micrometer in breadth one enamel rod is form, formed by one ameloblast that is one cell forms one rod okay and this is the cross section of enamel see here if we cut the enamel the cross section we see is this here we can see the parts of one enamel rod that is this is the head portion this is the neck portion and this is the tail portion here we can see the rod sheath and the inter cementing material or the inter rod enamel. In detail the structure of enamel. So enamel rod or prism. So the appearance is clear and crystalline. Length we have seen length and breadth and it is keyhole shape. This is important. The composition is amylogenin, the organic fibrils and hydroxyapatite crystals which are arranged parallel to the long axis. Microscopic structure. So in cross section, it resembles fish scales. This is the diagram from Orban's and we can see it appears fish scale like. Now appearance can be hexagonal, round or oval. We are talking about this structure. It can be hexagonal or it can appear round or it can appear oval in cross section. A single rod is keyhole shaped. Rods are arranged in arcading pattern from dentino enamel junction to the outer surface of two. This is the dentino enamel junction where the dentine meets the enamel and the rods are not just straight arranged they are arranged in an arcading pattern okay. now we'll talk about the direction of rods so in the incisal edge and cusp tips the rods are vertical and in the cervical region it is horizontal this is of clinical importance when you make cavity we are always asked to make smooth surfaces the gingival seat see in class 2 here we have made a restoration suppose we here we have made the restoration but the walls are jaggered so what will happen eventually the this rod is not supported it is not supported and eventually this may come off this may come off chip off and the entire restoration will eventually come off due to the masticatory forces same in class 2 cavities if the gingival seat is jaggered some enamel rods here we can see are not supported here rest the restoration this will eventually chip off due to the masticatory forces and the entire restoration will fail